All right, well, let's pick up on the, uh, the, the major political topic in the papers this morning, and certainly in Tasmania, where they've decided to take the lead on gay marriages. Yeah, I know. Who would have thunk it from Tasmania? <laughs> hey? It was uh, Traditionally, it was one of the more prejudiced against gay um, people, the states. But uh, the new uh, Lara Giddings has said that she wants to get it done by the end of the year. She told the Labor conference that... Uh, uh, that she was determined and it looks like they'll have the support to get it at least through the lower house of the state parliament. I'm not so sure about how they'll go in the upper house. Um, but um, good for her, I would say. It, it makes Julia Gillard look a little more... Um a little more slow to act, I think, than she did before. Yeah, it's interesting that um, one or two of them are also framing it in an economic sense. They're saying that they'll open this up to all of Australia and this, this could uh, be a, Gay marriage a big boost to the economy. <laughs> pink wedding tourism. <laughs> the, the pink, the pink, the pink led dollar, recovery, recovery for Tasmania <coughs> economy. Well, let's yeah. hear what uh, Larry Giddings, the Premier, did uh, have to say to their conference, uh, the ALP conference in Hobart yesterday. We will be leading the way for the rest of Australia to follow just as there are nations across the world who have already taken this step, some of whom that you would not believe would have done this in advance of a nation like our own. I believe that the community has reached that tipping point now where more people than not believe that this last form of discrimination should be removed. So, Lenore, we talked about the parliamentary hurdle, the first one, but then there's the legal hurdle. Yeah, sure. I mean, I think the fourth, first port of call for these laws is probably going to be the High Court. The Tasmanian government is acting on advice from constitutional lawyers like George Williams, who say that because the federal and the state governments have sort of side-by-side -side powers to make laws about marriage, and when John Howard amended the Marriage Act in 2004 to say marriage was between a man and a woman, he didn't explicitly say it wasn't between a man and a man or a woman mm. and a woman, and therefore it's open to state governments to legislate otherwise. But I think that will almost inevitably be challenged in the High Court and that will determine the fate of these laws if indeed they pass the Tasmanian Parliament in the first place. And to Queensland uh, now, Dennis Adler.